Beloved in Christ, our thought for the day is God is speaking uh, through Jesus. Uh, the Word of God says in Hebrews 1 and 2, Hath in the last days spoken unto us by his Son, whom he had appointed heir of all things, by whom also he made the worlds. Jesus has been a part of God's plan of, from the very beginning. Many religions today, even though they honor Jesus Christ as a good man, as a good person, as a prophet, and even as a great leader, they do not honor him as the Son of God, uh, as the Word of God. Through Jesus Christ, the worlds were created. Beloved, God said in Genesis 1.26, Let us make man in our image after our likeness. Who was he speaking to? Was he speaking to a man? Or was he speaking to angels who are created beings just as human beings are? Or was he really talking to someone like himself, which is the Lord Jesus Christ? Beloved, by His Spirit, through His Son, He is directing our lives today. There are many out there today who are following the false Christ, the false Jesus, and believe that that is enough in order for them to earn their way into salvation. And it's not, beloved. We have to know Jesus Christ for who He is and who He ultimately will be the heir and the leader of the new world that God will create or the new Jerusalem that is being created even right now. Because Jesus said, let me go and prepare a place for you that you may be where I am. And beloved, the only place that there is is New Jerusalem, which will come down on this earth, which will be refabricated by fire one day. And then the New Jerusalem will be placed upon it. Beloved, where we will live with the Christ forever. But it's important that we know and we follow the true Jesus as according to the word. Not the fictitious Jesus that many say that they are following today, beloved. Look what Jesus said in uh, Matthew eleven twenty eight 28, and 29. Come unto me. All ye that labor, uh, which we all do, and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. But this is the important part here. Take my yoke upon you, and learn of me. Beloved, learn of me. Not about me, but learn of me. In other words, learn of me that you might become as I am. Learn of me so that you might know me. For I am meek and I am lowly in heart. And you shall find rest for your souls. That's the Jesus that we ought to be following. That's the Jesus we ought to be learning from. Not those who claim to know Jesus and act and respond 
and live their lives according to their own beat. But rather, beloved, we need to learn of this Christ, the one that God said that he will speak to in the last days, that he will direct our life in the last days, and he will be heir of all God's kingdoms in the final day. Beloved, are we following that Jesus? Are we hearing that Jesus in these days? Beloved, seek after the true Jesus. Beloved, be blessed in Jesus' name.